You'll be safe here, your highness. I'll try to find some help. No one is safe as long as the alchemist has the amulet. Now you must help me. This is our true king. You have to take care of him. The true king? Oh, <gasps> were we deceived? You've got to trust me. Stay here, I'll bring some fresh water and bandages. He is exhausted and wounded. So, for all these years, it wasn't our king destroying the realm? I'm in shock, really. Does it mean things will go back to the way they were? We could always seek the king's wisdom and justice. We often sought help from within the castle walls. Of course, it would be my pleasure. I don't have any bandages, though. That's why I'm here. I wanted to ask the king for a pardon, but the guards won't let anyone near the castle. Of course I will. I won't let such injustice happen in this kingdom any more. Before you go, take this. It will bring you luck. <laughs>
I already feel better, but it's painful to sit by and idly watch while you fight my war for me. Yes, but the alchemist often made me speak with the golem so he could learn how to impersonate me. Hmm. The alchemist's power seems to be tied to the tower behind the throne room. The key to beating him could be there. I never saw him moving away from the throne on his own. He seems passive and lacks confidence without his master. That traitor replaced all of my advisors and castle staff with new people in a matter of weeks. The guards here are just mercenaries. My old loyal guard was posted on the fringes of the kingdom. I believe we can bring them back. I need to rest now, but you take this as a symbol of my authority. Hereby I appoint you my new warden. Take back my kingdom! mind. Will you hurry up? I'm freaking out here. We are the only ones on duty tonight. The alchemist is going to do something terrible. I'm scared of him and, and, and his dark magic. I see that you're new here, so let me explain the rules. By order of the king, no one is allowed past this point. Take this key and hide it well. Don't let anyone in, rookie. So, oh, you made it, my apprentice. Shame that you've come too late. The ritual of the Elixir Vitae is almost done. Secure the passage, Golem. Do not let her pass.
doing here? This is my mother. And my father. Don't you understand? This amulet gave me the power to take Kestrel's soul and cure your mother. That's insane! There must be another way. I won't let you kill my father. It's been too long for this moment. I love her. Nothing can stop me now. It's clear that we have no other choice. 
than to fight. Well done. You've learned a lot. You were always more talented than me. Forgive me. Everything I've done was, was because I loved your mother. You remind me of her in so many ways. And now I will die. But I still have one last chance to save her. I shall sacrifice my soul and put it in the amulet. Use it well. Farewell, my child. Somehow, even after all he has done, I feel sorry for him. My love, what he did is unforgivable. He broke his vows and betrayed his closest friend and his kingdom. If I was in his place, I'd think about doing even worse things to save you. There is a huge difference between thinking and doing, and you know it would break my heart, love. Sweet child of mine, how you have grown, both in body and soul. I'm so happy I got to see you both. Now that I got to say goodbye, I can go to the other side, peacefully. No, don't go! Don't close your eyes! I cannot lose you again, not like this! Daughter, please save her. I beg you, think of something. The cruel reign of the alchemist is over. However, my heart is torn. There will be peace in the kingdom once more. And we can finally go home together. <laughs>